Okay, so this is uh, this is it. No guts, no glory. I have to put the staining uh, on the piece now. So we just repair the surface. It's been sanded. It's uh, it's beautifully modeled with old and new. And now it's time to put the black on. So we put it on, then we rub it off. And there's like one chance to get this right. It's a little scary. Okay. The good news is it doesn't come off that easily, so we're unlikely to make big mistakes. We have plenty of time to gently move the color around the way we want it, and it's going to come out fantastic. Now you see this? Uh, Milan, see this? The red is the old color. That's from China, circa 1900. The blue is our color, created here in Chicago. The black is to calm down the blue. So I'm continuing to sort of uh, adjust the stain. It means uh, adding some, subtracting some, letting it dry, seeing how it looks. So now I've uh, freshened up my rags. They're, they're wet, but they don't have much pigment on them. Look at that, see? So I'm actually sanding the piece without sandpaper. I'm doing it with water. Now if you stay in one area too long, it'll get too bright, and then that'll ruin the effect. But of course we can do it again if we have to. Okay, so now you can see that the piece is moist. It's wet. The stain is uh, starting to set up, but it's not completely fixed yet. I can still adjust it. So I feel like it's a little bit too dark. This is not what they wanted. So this is my big chance. And see, I can take, I still can take some off. See, see the texture? Old color, original color, some raw wood some dirt, some of the blue. The goal is to make it look natural. Our concept here is that these doors should be like a, a dirty face that gets scrubbed a little bit just in the middle. Like just clean the cheeks and the nose and leave the rest alone. Let it be dirty along the perimeter because old cabinets are kind of like that.